Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I have a new board setup video today. Kind of like a double board setup, vi board setup video. Um, so here's my new board. I'll show you that sec. Here is my old board. My Revive Bones graphic, I think. Um, re I have really bad razor tail on, on both ends. Chip here. But I'm not done with this yet. It's just gonna be like a backup secondary board. And so this is they're both 775. Here's my new board. I got this at Citizen Skate. Citizen Skate Shop in Uptown Chicago. This was drawn by the owner of the store. It cost like 40 bucks. So not too expensive, you know. On this other board, on the Revive board, I have um, <clears throat> force wheels, 52 millimeter. Can't remember exactly what I got. My bearings are. Where are my bearings? Uh, Shake Giant low rider bearings and Destructo trucks. Can't remember exactly what they are. And then I have riser pads, mostly because uh, as I was saying, I have the riser pads mostly because the ground around here is not the smoothest just to kind of help it out that kind of thing you know so oh yeah my new grip tape is just some get jess up and on this board is am grip so yeah let's set the board up i just realized i need to get bug spray i have this other deck uh it was broken and then retaped i don't know why an alien workshop deck my uncle gave me. He also gave me the, the trucks and stuff. The wheels are it says 52 or 51 millimeter mini logo bearings, but I think they're more like 53. Uh, mini logo. I don't remember the bearings, but these are Grind King trucks. So I'm gonna put these trucks wheels bearings on this old revive board. And then I'll put my destructo trucks in there. And there. So here we go. First, I'll start with, uh, you know, grip tape, because it's always the funnest. I can use my sister's hair tie. I don't live in Chicago. We were visiting some family up there over this weekend. Um, if you haven't noticed how I am right now, I am kind of sweaty. It's kind of hot out. I haven't even skated yet. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Stickers. Can't even think. Taking off these little stickers. 775 says steep. It says it's steep board. Um, yeah, the tail, I mean, I know the revive board tail is chipped a little bit, but the tail actually looks a little longer, which I'm glad about. I'm happy for that reason. This is probably the hardest part. I've only, this is my second time setting up the grip tape. Uh, I don't think I did too terrible on my first grip job, but I definitely could be better. First, you gotta, you know, peel this off. Where is it? Here it is. Alright, this is like the most crucial part. I've seen some better tip, more tips for doing grip tape now, so that'll be a little, that'll help me out with that. Alright. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can like put it from the middle side or just one side. Uh, so that's. This side here's the nose. Let's just go like this. Have I gotten up here? Yeah, I do. Oh my gosh, no, no, hang on. Alright, let's just. One. Let's take it a little slower than Bad here. This side. Uh, got it. That wasn't too bad. Now I'll take this just a piece. Now this is a good tip I saw. And just put it on and just make sure it's all stuck to the board and even. Oh, 
Also, Citizen Skate Shop is a non-profit uh, organization skate shop. So that's pretty cool that it's non-profit. Oh my gosh. Double, double push this crap down. Some more air bubbles. I'll fix them up right now. Um, Alright. This is my first time using the rough part of my skate tool. Uh, just the silver skate tool. I never, never had a chance to use it. I got it after I got my board. Here we go. First time. Oh, it's so cringy. But, yeah. Oh, crap. What the frick? Well, I guess that'll... I kind of tore it right here. have to like that may just be the easiest way to take it off right away it's coming off Freaking razor. I think this knife is somewhat sharp. I don't know. If not, I could just grind it off all the way. Swinging this knife around. But uh, this was the hardest part about the grip tape last time is the cutting. So, oh my gosh. I'm doing good. Yes. I mean, this first part already better than I did last time, so. But also with the skate tool, it's easier to grind down the edges. Can't tell I'm focusing. Maybe this isn't better. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing better. It actually feels really good to cut this. Let me make sure this is all up. Uppity. You know? It'd be easier to cut it that way. Oh crap, it's like stuck to the side on the second time. I don't think I did bad for the first time or this. So far, the second time is not doing not bad. No. I can't think. <laughs> not doing bad. this one board over here that's duct tape. I wanted to do a game of skate on it, but uh, never got around to it. Oh my gosh, that sucks. So, that won't happen on that board anyway. Maybe it'll happen another time. On a different board that I break. I've never, actually, I've never broken a board yet. But also that board, that freaking Alien Workshop board is like 10 years old. Oh, good cut. Oh, bad cut. <laughs> oh, good cut. No, bad cut. It's the new thing. Good cut, bad cut. I don't want to cut myself. Yes. Uh, grip tape is really sticky. That's a good thing. Cut this. One more. This is the longest. I may just cut some of this section out. Almost done with the grip. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, come on. Looks 
like a five-year-old grip this board. Well, I mean, the knife is good for cutting it, so at least that's that. All right. Uh, yeah, here's the board. <laughs> yeah, got to sand it down. Yeah, this is making my hands finger hot in here. Some people say to like sand parts, part of the nose a little bit, you know, I'm not going to do that. I don't get boards that often. If I did, I would. I don't skate that often, enough to like find boards every month, breaking boards and stuff. So yeah, oh gosh, I got crap all over me. So I'll show you guys this. Not too terrible, though. I like how that good this grip tape looks. Just just up in the back, you know? Yeah. Now we'll poke holes in, put on the trucks. Okay, so we got board, trucks, wheels, all that crap. So I guess now we put on the truck, so I'll start with the nose, I guess. Um, let's see, I need two red and two black. I think I'll go back to how I originally had it on my revived board. Before how I had the bolts and that, I had the red bolts on the top. Instead of at a diagonal pattern thingy, so I'll just put them on the top this time. You guys hear that bird up there? The frick is wrong with that bird? Okay, make sure trucks are put on trucks right. Also, I need my riser pants! <sighs> you know, I think it'd be cool to get a pair of Avenue trucks. They look pretty cool. Avenue trucks with the suspension and all that. Oh, that'd, yeah. that'd be cool. But I don't need those yet because I still I haven't even learned any grinds yet or slides. But I'm working on that. But I don't want to learn a 50/50 on this rail just yet because that'd be harder than it would be just trying it on a ledge or a box. You know, I guess that'd be about the same thing. So, oh crap, Thank you. I'm gonna have to put it on like this, because with the riser pads, it's a little hard to get the bolts on, dude. Come on, dang it. Hey, what the heck? Oh, I put it on, it's putting it on upside down, this bolt. Um, yeah, 
So after I learn board sh slides, I think I should go for 50-50. Or depending on if I go like board slide to fakie or just board slide, you know. If I go, if I just land board slide, I'll probably do board slide to fakie, but I don't think I'd want to make a video about it because that probably wouldn't take that long after learning board slide. You know, sometimes it's easier to go off fakie. Front side, then you just, instead of turning back, you just spin, keep spinning. Keep, just keep spinning, you know. I got, I went in and tightened this one all the way, you know. So, now for the other truck. Um, ooh, you know what I want to do? This is really cool indoor skate park. Somewhat. Uh, it's like two hours away, which kind of sucks, but it looks pretty cool. I don't want to. I wish it had more of a name. It doesn't really have a name. I don't want to give out my location just yet. You know, maybe if I start getting followers and stuff, and they're like, "Whoa, where's that at?" I'll be like, "Huh?" I'll be like, "Huh?" -huh. I'll tell. I don't know. But for now, I'll keep it low. Keep my, my freaking. Did I put this on? Okay, I did. It's actually taken me such a long time to set up this board. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to setting up boards. I mean, I like it. It's, I like doing it. It's fun. It's like one of the parts of skating. You know, setting up a board. First time. That would help. It's fun. Don't ever freaking don't ever set it up. Don't ever let someone else set it up at a skate store. Lame. If anything, do it with a friend or parents or something. That way you can still do it and they can help you and you can have fun. Don't like I wouldn't let anyone do it for me. It's weird. I have Finally, this trick I got on a lot easier. Or the. Whatever this thing is. The riser pads got the bolts on a lot easier so far. Um. Yeah. Me and my dad are gonna build a. I don't wanna say a. It's like a rail. We're gonna build a rail. Like a PVC super awesome rail. But it won't be the side. It'll it'll be kind of wide, so it'll be good for like 50/50s and uh, board slides and stuff. It'll be easier to slide it, and easier to balance, you know. So that'll be cool. I don't know when. You know, there's a skate park. The skate park that was in my day in life number one has a box. So I want to try and board slide that next time I'm there. Practice on this rail, but if I can, if I can get on the rail before, then that's perfect, you know. But uh, I always have a bad time when I'm at that park. I don't know why. You know, like it's windy, which is cool because you know you'll be cooler, cool, colder, whatever. But the freaking asphalt is so terrible. It's worse than the road. There's like huge cracks in it and everything. Cardialist. I, I, whenever I get back into a good mood by going there, I just leave most of, yeah, like every time I leave kind of fresh, frustrated or like mad. I don't know why. I just, yeah. <laughs> I suck at it. <laughs> Finally though, I'm done. I just gotta put some finishing touches on it. Stickers. So I got, I also bought this Independence Truck stickers. Yeah, this one is like two bucks at the skate store, but it's fine. Uh, so I'll put that on, and I also have a Pebble Suck Force Wheels. I figured I'd use that since I have Force Wheels still. My uncle has a tattoo of the Independence truck on the back of his neck. I had no 
idea what it was until not long ago. Until I started getting into skating and stuff. So I think I'll put this sticker right here. On the nose. Wait, wait, wait. Wow, this sticker's good. You could like put it on the back of a car. That'd be enough. Alright. So it's just right up here, only covering part of the citizen logo. Now force wheels. I wanna have the citizen skate shop on there. Literally cover up the whole thing. Um, maybe I'll put it like right here. No, this almost seems too big for this. Like, I don't know, man. Let me look at my other board to see how I kind of have it. Okay, I'll put it. Oh, I know what I can do. I got an idea. <laughs> Wait. Uh, right here. All right. Just peel the silver right on the grip tip. Okay, so I got that there. Ah, it looks, it looks terrible. Screw it. Let's just put it right here. Right there. Okay, finally. I got this board done. Uh, next I will do... I'll just kind of cut to that board being done. Let me, uh, let me make sure it's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Wow, these grains are kind of dirty. So yeah, we got quick redo of the thing. Citizen Skate Shop Deck 775. Just of Grip Tape. Revive Life Bolts. Uh, Destructo Trucks. Force Wheels 52 millimeters. Can't remember the thing. What was the other thing? Shake Giant. Lowrider bearings, riser pads, one eight, one eight inch, and pebble suck sticker, and independence truck sticker. Even though I don't have independence trucks, yeah. am I saying that right? Independent. Independent. All right. Wow, it looks so. Oh my gosh, that looks weird. This board looks wide to me, and then this board, for some reason, looks skinny. They're the same size, so that's weird. I don't know. It was my first real board. Well, no, wait. I don't know. I had an airbox board as a kid, younger. Did you, do you think does that count or not? Let me know. Does an airbox board count as a real board? If not, that revive board is my first real board. Okay, so I uh, finished the board, both boards. I've seen this video. I haven't even stepped on this board yet. And uh, check out Citizen Skate Shop on Instagram, online, whatever. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I can get boards like soon.